Gary, that's a difficult one to uh, to come to terms with. 4-0 defeat here at Steel Park versus Chase Town. It just didn't start well and it didn't get any better. No, um, and obviously I'm the manager of the team so I have to take the sort of responsibility, but some of the mistakes we've made, not, not just today, um, throughout even the, the good run, we was making mistake after mistake and, you know, goals do change games and we've gifted them sort of two goals in the first half so then I have to change it so I'll take responsibility for the second half because I threw four men forward and left us exposed all over the pitch and you know I'm not one of the managers who's gonna oh let's try and keep it 2-0 or lose 3-0 because I don't want someone to shout at me on the touchline if we lose 6-0 we we'll lose 6-0 I, I do get some horrible results sometimes when I chase games and you know like I say I'm in the I try and be in the business of winning football matches not trying to tend to score line, so I'll take a bit of the responsibility for the second half, but I'm, I can't take the responsibility for the mistakes that we've made um, throughout my tenure here so far, to be honest, and, you know, we did, we was getting the maximum out of the players on that run, but we went on, but I don't, I don't want to be too harsh on the players because we're in it together, but we have shown the true colours over the last three games that we, we are a little bit off it. Um, there is, that was men against boys today. All they've done was done their job. I just said to the boys in there, Chase Town didn't do anything. You know, you wouldn't look at their players and go, cool, they've got an unbelievable player and they've got the best player there and they've got the best player. They literally just done their job. From 1 to 11, they've done their job very, very well. And we, we didn't do our job very, very well. We've done our job very, very poorly. So I've got a lot of players in there and I've just said exactly the same to them is I don't know what I'm going to get from one week to the next. There's probably three or four in there where I know if they have a bad game, they're still going to give me this much. Whereas you've got a lot of players in there who when they're good, they're good. And when they're bad, they're really bad. And as a manager, you can, that's nearly impossible to manage a team like that because you need to, in the teams I've had that have been successful, I know on a bad day, that we can go grind a result out 1-0 if we're playing poorly. Or we can go anywhere in the league and grind out a nil-nil. But... I don't know whether we're going to win 2-3-0 or get back 3-4-0 or nil, and that's a horrible place for a manager to be in and that's something that I'll definitely address over the summer. When I come in, I didn't, I wouldn't expect us to get anywhere near the playoffs um, but when you went on the run that we went on, I got the bounce and we got the little bit of luck and everything was going well for us. You know, you get carried away and again, today, you know, just shows the power of the club with, I think someone said 700. Um, which is unbelievable and I'm just really disappointed that we didn't perform to the level that we, we should do and that over the last three games you've got to say this there's a few of the players who have been a little bit rabbit in there like. so we, we can put today's result and game behind us we've got a game on Monday away at Daventry yeah. um, it looks as if you, you may have pro problems actually scoring goals that seemed to be the problem today you couldn't have beaten their back four and if you're not going to score you're not going to win the game. So, do you think Monday might be a problem? No, I don't think Monday would be a problem because we'd be playing against a load of young lads and everyone will want to get on the ball and show us how good they are and show off and do the tricks and flicks and stuff like that. But, but that, that won't wash for me. That's today, people have got to stand up and be counted. Last week, people needed to be standing up and counted. And at Sporting Council, people needed to be standing up and be counted. Not against Daventry away, who are near, near on a relegated team and Go there and I, I said to, again. I said to the lads in there, don't, don't, don't let, don't let me see you giving the big one on Monday when it's when it's dead and buried. You know we had three three opportunities to um, stand up and be counted, and we weren't counting any of them. Although this is the same group who went on a six game run, but they took the plaudits for that, mm -hmm. and I took the pats on the back for that. And obviously there's there's a two way two way street with that. When you're not doing so well, you have to. The players have to take responsibility, as do I. Do you think it's a case now of um, already starting to build for next season? Or, or or do you think, let's see the season out? Nah, listen, I've got, Stevie's brought me here to get promoted. No disrespect to any of the players out there. That squad ain't good enough to get promoted. Um, we've given as best as we can. I've given everything I can. We ain't good enough. We, we, we ain't good enough to get promoted. If we'd have got, if we had the conversation last week. Where if we did get promoted, that would probably been too early. You know, there's there's some lads there 
in the in the squad who, who who are good enough and who can take us to where we get. And I've got to make sure I have the right ones to to go with the ones that we've already got. And that is going to be a busy summer. Um, but there is there is some talented boys there as well that you know hopefully we can keep on board for the journey. And some have done themselves some some good favours over the last 12, 13 games. However long I've been here, and there's there's some probably not done themselves so many favours. So there will be chop and change, but that's not that's not. That's not because Gary said it was a Corby Town, that's at every club up and down mm. up and down the country. Obviously you have incomings and outgoings. We'll probably have a few more chops and changes than what we would. We need a good summer, we need a good pre-season and we need to hopefully, you know, put a minimum playoffs next year and hopefully promotion. Gary, commiserations today, we'll see you Monday. Yeah. Just um, Charlie Sanders, are we likely to see him again this season or <sighs> If it's worth the risk now, but you know that'll depend on Charlie. He would have he would have definitely been involved for Boulder if we was in the hunt. We could have probably pushed him for St Neitz. Um Is there any value in that? Um, I'm pretty hundred percent certain Charlie will be with us next season. That'll be a massive sign. And, and to be honest, we are the three games he's missed. Uh, we we probably needed him. Mm. He was a player we brought in for the running, um, and unfortunately he had the great start then pulled his hamstring and unfortunately, oh, listen, one player wouldn't make a difference today. We, 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 had, we had seven or eight over the last couple of games that he turned up when they needed to. And <clears throat> I just said I don't like to, I don't like to use the word bottled up, but I genuinely believe that, you know, that's what a few of the players have done. We've, we've got ourselves in a great situation, took a foot off the gas and we've got a collars felt. And that's disappointing. It's disappointing for me, but I was, I'm not saying I knew this was going to happen, but I always knew, even on the run, that we was we weren't battling teams. We weren't those better. We was winning. We was coming out the right side of some tight games because we was doing the basics half half well, even though we was making costly errors for goals. But at that point, we were scoring, and confidence with the youngest set of lads is is key. It's big, and unfortunately, we, we lost the confidence with the with the four one defeat at Castle. And even in that game, there was mistakes, an early goalie mistake, a missed penalty, another mis another goalie mistake, um, and we just never really got going. So you know that burst the bubble, and and that's unfortunately for us, that stayed burst since. And obviously, that's my job now over the next three games to pick the players up, be as professional as we can. You know, we'll, we'll still have plenty of people come and watch us at Daventry. There'll be, there'll be people here next week and we, we hope to finish the season the best we can and, you know, give ourselves something to go into the summer and next season with.